Freezing weather we've been experiencing lately has increased some fire danger, the Lumberton Fire Chief says. Homes in wooded areas are especially at risk. KFTM's Lauren Hewitt explains what you can do to protect your property. They're usually pretty friendly. They just, right now, they're all they care about is that hay. Peter Cass lives on several acres near Keith Road. <laughs> With plenty of room for geese, pigs, <laughs> chickens and acres of trees. A scenic piece of property in a region where the freeze has increased the fire danger. I was not aware that uh, that it was a little bit more dangerous. Um, we, we always try to keep uh, brush away from our house and, and keep everything around the house clean. Um, and uh, we're careful whenever we burn, we do have a pile. Lumberton Fire Chief Bob Simonson says undergrowth and vegetation are extremely dry. Especially now that we've had this significant cold snap, we're going to see a lot more dead top level vegetation. And that's always a concern for flame spread, especially because people are going to be raking these piles, they're going to be burning. Lumberton Fire Chief Bob Simonson encourages homeowners to practice firewise safety procedures. One of those procedures is to have at least a 30 foot green zone between your home and the forest. Do what they call shade zones. Get in there, clear the little trees out, remove the small undergrowth, keep the tops of the trees there so there's nice shade for you, but this gives you a clear cut area so there's less fuel load in the event of a, of a wildland fire in, the, in your area. We've got a lot of good neighbors in this area, a lot of good people around here, and they usually keep up their property, and if everybody does their part, it's pleasant and safe for everybody. In Hardin County, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. The chief says you can also help reduce the fire risk by keeping your gutters clear of leaves.